Good morning and happy Wednesday. I am having an off day. I woke up feeling not 100%. And so that kind of stinks. Do you guys ever wake up and just kind of feel like off? Like you know that your day is not going to be super great? I'm trying really hard to make it a great day. So I'm trying to get some things done that I know will like make me feel good. I don't know what it is, but like I really enjoy laundry. Like I enjoy seeing the laundry be done, folding the laundry, putting the laundry away. Like it's like that instant gratification of like, I did that and now it's done and I'm productive. And so that's kind of what I've been doing. I've been doing things that will kind of make me feel like productive and like better. So yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing today. These little guys are just having a sleepy day. Little lazy pups, huh? Yeah, you're my little baby bean. You are. It was raining earlier today and Bandit was really kind of scared of the rain. So I'm glad to see that he's not shaking anymore, right? Yeah, my little babe. And Armani just doesn't even care. It was totally like lightning outside this morning and he was just outside going to the bathroom in the lightning, didn't even care. Bandit had to run inside because he was too scared. I think Bandit's the smart one. Party Rock is in the house tonight. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I totally forgot what day of the week it was. Remember now, it's a Wednesday. This has been no fun at work, but we're back home now. It's party time, right? And you know what we do when we party? We eat delicious, delicious food that I show you. You ready? And there it is, my bratwurst, my potato salad, and my tater tots. Cause I like my potatoes. And that's how we party rock is with potatoes. Cause party rock is in the house tonight. I feel like I do that way too much, but I really like it, it's fun. Time for a little bit of candy vlogging. I'm gonna try these cuddles. No, puddles. Puddles? Yeah. I like calling them cuddles better. Ooh, dairy milk puddles. So they're like, I thought they were snowmen at first. They're not snowmen, they're like puddles. Mm. Filled with something, filled with what? Hazelnut filling? like. Nutella. All right, let's give this one a try. Time to eat the puddle. We had them in the refrigerator too. Oh, they're pretty good. Show sure. them. You guys see it in there? Oh, your eyeballs. I would eat it again. My only complaint is that the, uh, like the hazelnut flavor is not like overwhelmingly hazelnut, just slightly. So what are we doing? So after shocking the pool and not getting any like response, it's still very green. It, I've determined that that's all pollen that's in the pool. So I'm going to put this stuff in there, which is what happens is it takes the pollen and makes it clump all together so that it can be just dragged out by the filter. So what'll happen is I'll put this stuff in and then tomorrow it'll be clear water, but the bottom will just be covered with stuff. And then we'll dump the vacuum in there and let it do its thing and suck it all through the filter and then clean the filter and suck it through the filter and clean through the filter. So. Hopefully, if we do everything right, the pool should be clear, like, within a day or two. Hopefully. And the craziest part is that we only really need a cup of this stuff for our entire pool. You can get this stuff at Publix for, like, $8, which is great. I don't know if we actually showed you, but it is raining right now, and the pool is really green. And it's really making some weird noises, so we need to fill it up and put this stuff in it. But this is what we've been dealing with all season. He's putting it in. You can kind of see him over there. So crazy that that little amount is gonna help this whole pool. Wow. So I got the pool filter going. I got the, the vacuum in the pool. That's what I was trying to say. I put the vacuum in the pool and now it's doing its thing and hopefully that works out. But I forgot to say, may the fourth be with you. Eh? That's today. Today's May the fourth. The new thing is may the fourth awaken. May the fourth awaken you. I don't understand that part. People were tweeting it. The fourth awakens. Did you felt it? There's been an awakening in the fourth. Did you <laughs> felt it? So I think tonight we might try to watch a Star Wars and like live long and prosper or something. See, here's the thing. We've been waiting to watch the fourth awakens until, fourth. what? Fourth. That's what I said. Oh. We've been waiting to watch the fourth awakens until the Jen, awakens. the fourth. No, the fourth. The fourth? What day is it? It's called The Force Awakens. Oh. I like mine better. What year is it? What year is it? But we've been waiting to watch The Force Awakens until Jen has seen all of the Star Wars movies and she still has two left. The good news is she's seen Anakin say yippee 
like 600 times for two hours straight, and she loved it. She's all about pod racing and like global peace summits and Jar Jar. But she is not yet to see Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi. So uh, I think those were in the wrong order, right? Or were they? Those were in the right order. So we can't watch Force Awakens yet because we don't know what's going on. So I think tonight maybe we might try to watch what are the names of the movies? I keep, I, I'm thinking Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens and Empire Strikes Back. So tonight, I think we're going to try to watch Empire? Is that the middle one? I don't know. I have to look this up and we'll find out and we will watch it. It's kind of funny watching 90210 nowadays because they have like all these current event references that are like, oh, Kelly thinks you're going all Waco because that had just happened. It's kind of interesting looking back and being like, oh, yeah. That's a current event reference. I always feel like when I work late and then we are at home for the night and I'm, we're like filming a video, I always feel like rushed. I'm like, here's some random crazy thought from my mind. And sometimes that turns out to be like a really good video. And then other times it's like, what the heck was Tim talking about? So I hope you guys don't mind my completely random thoughts because that's what tonight's video is going to be. That and pool cleaning and 90210, apparently. We haven't even started watching Darth Vader. We might. You never know. We should. We don't have it anywhere. We'll have to rent it. I don't know. Let's see how much it is to rent. 100% truth time. Uh, we did not watch Star Wars. I looked on the rental thing, and apparently you can't rent it. You can buy it for $20, but you can't rent it. So I think we're going to have to borrow it from somebody to watch it. So, so 90210 it is. 90210 it is. Brenda just got engaged and the other one with the sharp teeth just met the one that she's going to have a baby with. Andrea. And Andrea. Andrea met Jesse. Andrea met Jesse and they're going to have a baby with sharp teeth. <laughs> Do you guys ever notice how sharp Andrea's teeth are? Andrea. Her name is Andrea. Andrea. Andrea, because she's from Beverly Hills. No, she's from Van Nuys. Oh. Well, then she's Andrea. No. Oh. And somebody's having a dream. A little doggy dream. Oh. Is he chasing after a little dreamy squirrel? <laughs> you know what I wanted to do, but I wish I had like a dog treat to put in front of his face so that I could get his reaction of him being asleep and then smelling the dog treat and like he, he would wake up like as you were trying to open it I know so you could never do it I know but I wish I could have you ever seen that video of the tiger doing it there's a tiger that's asleep and then they put a piece of meat in front of its face and he's like no I've never seen that it's pretty awesome no <laughs> Because it's a tiger. So I just went outside and I checked the pool and it's too dark for me to see anything. But I like, I'm hoping that this works because man, this pool is like, it's getting to me. It's like springtime is here. It's time for us to get in the pool, but the pool is like green. So what the heck? 99% sure that it's pollen. There's enough chlorine in the pool to, like, kill off any algae. Like, I can smell the chlorine in the pool. So, it has to be pollen. So I'm hoping that this other stuff that makes the pollen stick together and fall to the bottom cleans out the pollen. I don't know. But as for me, I have to go to bed. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.